Hey Invisible Girl, Intervention, how are you both doing? Intervention, I should say. Oh, I can just call you Inter. It's easier for the English tongue and shorter. Fair enough. Hey, Kiara. Thanks for giving Invisible Girl a shout out. Invisible Girl, if you could reciprocate. I made some flour based food with random ingredients and it's edible. Nice. Yep. I'll shout Kiara out myself. Never mind, thank you, Invisible. Sorry, Kiara, you're just gonna have to get the promo. Get that bread. Not that way. Yep, oh, crashing off. Ah, is someone being uh, uplifted by their friends? So in any case, I uh, I am very sleepy from work. I basically um, ate stuffed mushrooms and some garlic bread for lunch because I didn't have time to cook anything else. But here I am. Okay, everything's working. Hey, I happen to like mushrooms, Invisible Girl. They're tasty and mushroomy. Hey, Goggles, how are you doing? I'm glad you made it to you, Kiara. Oh, thanks for giving uh, Goggles a shout out. For those who don't know, Goggles has decided to only go by Goggles. So don't call him anything else, even if you have been calling him by another nickname. You're hungry, but otherwise good. Fair enough. I'm the opposite. I was just explaining I ate a ton of stuffed mushrooms and garlic bread earlier. I am a darling. Oh, okay. Fun fact, that's actually what I used to call uh, starlings. One time my mum made me a picnic in the garden, a bunch of them came along and stole all the food. I made a show of being sad, but I didn't really mind. They're cute burbs. Anyways. Good morning. Uh, morning, pearls. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, come on. Let's hurry and go see Mr. Ungard. We have to wait a bit, pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9am, so... Oh, I see. Uh, Mystic Mayor. If only, if only I'd gone with you. Poor Pearls. She's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow, yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. Yep, break into jail, visit him now. That's what lawyers do all the time, isn't it? But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearls got any sleep at all last night. I know the feeling. Mr. Nick, Mystic Mayor, she's all right, right? Yeah, she's all right. Either way, I'm going to save her. You can trust me on that. Please, please help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected. 
because Pearls is doing the crying for both of us. Aww. Um, I have a thought. Huh? You're going to represent Mr. On Guard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what's here? What if he is the real murderer? What do you do then, Mr. Nick? Would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to save Mystic Mayor? Pearls. Let's talk to Mr. On Guard first, okay? We can think of all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Y yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I can't stop thinking about it. Pearls. You're really worried about Mayor, aren't you? I... I don't have anyone else left in this world. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Her uh, family? My father? Oh, it's no less. Quoting Toy Story at themselves. My father? He left my mother in the village behind and went away. I'm sorry. And my mother? She did that thing all for me. I'm very, I'm so glad everyone's uh, following up Nolis's uh, comment appropriately. How are you doing today, Nolis? Mystic Mare, she's like a sister to me. Obscure reference, get, you're counting the line as obscure even though the movie isn't. Yeah, yeah, I remember it's he, him, I just say, habitu habitually say themselves. She's all, she's all I have left in this world. Sorry, guys, we like there. March the 21st, 8.57am, Detention Centre Visitors Room. <gasps> They're three minutes early. We couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one nickel samurai charged with the murder of the Jammin Ninja. Good morning. How are you today? I know this situation might be a little tough for you. Um, we're... Ah, oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. I excuse me? Goggles. He's a shitbag, but you kind of want his jacket. It is a very cool jacket. I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago, because my job is, you know. Oh, no, 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 we're not insurance salespeople. Inter doesn't like this stud. And Nola suddenly wants to make a meme out of that line, but don't know who to put it in. Who the hell is he in? Which boy band is he in? Good question. If you put your head the wrong way, the collar points could take an eye out. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Fire extinguishers. I mean, this building isn't my house, so... No, 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 we're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. Sorry. A lawyer? Hold on a sec. I'm going to ask my manager, okay? 
The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer dude, right? My man, she's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Tch. Yep. Phoenix has an interesting history of fire extinguishers, alright. <gasps> he does have a digi vice. And that's a good question, Goggles. How is he allowed a phone in prison? To be fair, this was made when um, mobile phones weren't that co common and watches, uh, smart watches were basically non existent, so. Good question, Kara. Why is he dressed like he's from the 80s? Maybe he's just had a career that long and he just looks young for his age. M Mr. Nick, this is our chance. I have to make him let me take his case. I have to. Sorry to intrude, but I'd like to ask you a few personal questions. Uh, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography's coming out soon, so if I say stuff about the publisher's approval, then I'm going to be in real hot water. Hold on a sec. I'm going to ask my publisher, dude. Okay. No, this, this police force has Gumshoon and Meekins in it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, this guy's actually giving me a Keanu Reeves in Bill and Ted vibe. Most excellent. Mr. Angard is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Yep, publish your approval. The murder. Um, I don't know if he has anyone he can actually really talk to. Sorry about that. Like, I thought the publisher said it would be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? The jacket gives you Kamina vibes. So mine are probably more accurate. Hmm. Mr. On Guard, I'd like to be able I'd like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a, a for a tabloid as a side job, job dude? Um, um, well, if you want my statement on this, you should really ask through my staff. No, no, I'm not asking you on behalf of a tabloid. Hold on a sec. I'm going to ask the president of the studio, okay? Yes, you're right, Mr. Nick. If we're talking about Mr. Ongar's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president said... Even New Man Fiji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Uh, Mr. Nick, what's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain in the city of Neo Old Tokyo, the city that Nickel Samurai protects. So is it literally just um, set in Japan, but they put Neo Old in front of everything? Mr. On Guard, this is an attorney's badge. Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free time to be looking at things like that. Huh? I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. I don't have the time to take a lawyer's correspondence course. Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance then, it extinguishes, now this. Okay, let's just... Oh, hey, Yan, how's it going? Dude, I, I know I like to throw money around, but... It's not like I buy anything and everything. That's nice because it's not up for sale anyway. How are you doing today, Jan? What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You're going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes. While you're in the costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. 
I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. You didn't know? That's odd. Mr. Nick, what are you going to do with that? I don't know yet, but I figured I could at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one too. I got it as a present from someone. Hmm, interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver, dude? Bodacious. Yes. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. This is coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. Please wait. I really need to take your case. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please, please let Mr. Nick represent you. Man, oh man, lawyers these days. Now you do, you do use kids to blame clients too? Not cool, man. Not cool. If you don't take me as your lawyer, then the killer is going to... Wait, why did you say? The killer. The killer? What's he doing? He looks like he's mulling something over. Alright, dude. I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it. We did it, Mr. Nick. I mean, kind of suspicious he knows who the killer is. Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it, and he doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help out as much as I can. Yep, maybe they have a blackmailer in common. Man, I thank my lucky stars that people know know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Uh, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. Just need four more and a house. Five or six more. Tss. I guess Mr. Angar has a way of catching the eyes of women. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. Isn't that what Keanu Reeves' name means? A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you're alone the entire time. My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show. I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it. It was kind of noisy. Mr. Corrida was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered from, anyway from my manager. Well, Nolas, that's a periphery demographic, isn't it? I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do anything on his own.
Hang on a sec. Looks like some of the accounts that have been following me are bad news. Just get rid of those. Yeah, looks like I was followed by a bunch of bots. And there's a... Yeah, Sarah just um, quote quoted a post about them. So let's just get rid of these. Thought they were suspicious, but I didn't know anything about him, about them. Should be okay because I didn't click on any of them, but okay, that's them blocked. Oh, and I should probably use the ban command for good measure. Sorry about the uh, delay in the stream here. Good thing I was paying attention to my phone. Shout out to Sarah uh, for um, tagging me. Think about these name handles is they're really annoying to I'm glad you like the Tires of Nolus. I actually um, wrote it this morning, so I can't remember what it is. <sighs> that should do it.
Okay, I think I got all of them. Ah yes, in Tokyo For Fornia, Assassin hires you. Glad you like it. Okay, back to your reg uh, our regularly scheduled uh, Phoenix Wright stream. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. I'm oh, glad you like it. I'm not the one who thought of that, but I've definitely heard it quite a few times. Uh, about you and the victim, Mr. One Koruda. What sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wants to try and make a Jammin' Ninja movie, even though we knew it would all fail. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you'd think it'd be the way round, you know? Um... Do you know why you're arrested? Uh, I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja, Jammin Ninja's costume. A uh, button? I didn't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants. Or Hakama. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planted it there, though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. Up oh, and... Nailus. Secretary, the secretary's bit reminds you of Chris Fleming. I'm finding myself to be quite popular among women who own lizards. Oh, like Marge Simpson's sister. I guess this is all about all I'm going to guess out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Okay, Colombo Jr. Let's test Mr. Rangard to see if he really is innocent or not. W we can do that. Yes. If you use this. Mayor's Mag Mag Magatama. You won't be able to hide any secrets from me, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I guess it. Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Corrida? Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. Alright, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corrida, okay? Well, Mr. Nick. Ooh. Nothing. Not a chain or lock inside. Goggles, you don't know how you feel about Phoenix gaining sight cracking powers like this. Yeah, it's kind of a violation of privacy, isn't it? Which means it's alright to trust him. Yeah, it disappeared that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Um, the trials to tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. To be continued. Right now. No less. Lawyer game, but with zone of truth. <laughs> mm. 
March the 21st, 11.34am. Writing co law offices. Well, at least we were able to get Mr. Matt on guard as our client. And we know he didn't do it, which is very important. So, so now what do we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. Ungard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, let's start looking. Nolas. Pearl's arm sure itches or not, or something. Or she's been watching a lot of Popeye. I mean, she managed to run all the way. She managed to sprint her to our train journey, so. On foot, so. She must be fairly fit. Since there were no cyclogs. And that means we can trust Mr. On Guard to be innocent. I really feel much better knowing that. Ever since last night, I was so worried that I kept wondering. What if he is the real killer? What then? Hey, I have something I want to ask you, Pearls. Okay, what is it? Why are you so interested in how Mayor and I get along? I mean, she and I don't have anything special, go- Huh? Wh what do you mean? But, I thought- I thought you and Mystic Mayor were- I I've been mistaken all this time? No way! Uh, she really wasn't kidding. But I was actually believes Mayor and Ara. Well- to be fair, Goggles, one day Pearl's going to learn about um, employer-employee relationships and she's going to understand. I guess for the greater good. No, Liz, you maintain that she summons power from her ancestors to get superpowers. I think she's hoping, just hoping for a chance to wallop someone with it. Tss. Yes, Kiara, the greater good. Something, something, Tau Empire. Maybe I should have just left it alone. Mr. Nick, stop it! Don't hide your true feelings from me. Ow, she slapped me. There you go, Nolis. That's a lawyer's sh sacred treasure, isn't it? I guess. I feel like it has a mysterious power. Just like my Mag Magatama. Goggles. You see Greater Good and you instantly hear the version of a hot fuzz. Oh yeah, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> no less. The bl bitch slap of my ancestors. Mm. Well, I guess I can let her think what she wants on this one. Um... There are still so many things in this world I don't understand yet. Honestly, I still don't have enough training. Uh, no, it's okay. I don't have any ideas myself. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay, so they've forgotten what the maggot hammer is. Sorry I'm yawning so much today, by the way. I, was basically, I basically had to work overtime. Because they were training a new employee. to the detention centre. March the 21st, detention centre. Visitors room. Up, oh, see you in a bit, no less. Ah, uh, the lawyer dude. So what do you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. 
I see. But I've already told you I've been a no, dude. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time. My mantra was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference after you were supposed to hold after the show. I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, right? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Corrida was already dead at... Mr. Corrida was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Corrida. What sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with the face of his, you couldn't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wants to try and make a German Ninja movie, even though we know it'll fail. That's the point, how old are they? Both 21. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm, dude. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you'd think it'd be the other way around, you know? Goggles wants a jamming ninja movie. To be honest, I'd kind of like to see an actual jamming ninja TV series. So, why are you carrying around that transceiver? I wanted to ask you about it. And why do you why do you do everything it tells you to? You know, the messages it sends you, dude. On second thought, he probably doesn't have anything to do with Mayor's kidnapping. That's a secret. Okay, whatever, dude. I mean like he literally noticed it and recognized the name to killer, so he knows something. Dude, like I told you, I don't know a thing about that press conference. I need that kind of stuff to my manager. And this is harder than pulling bass from a river. What did he mean, base? <laughs> Guess there's not much else here. Smile, you're on candid camera. Mr. On Guard keeps sneaking glances up at the security camera on the wall. I wonder if he's still trying to be a star. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet you could forget he was even there if he wasn't watching everything. He's pushed up against the wall, kind of like a magnet on the refrigerator. Literally me on the tills at work. Okay, to the hotel lobby then. March the 21st, Gatewater Hotel, Hotel Lobby. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without. Good morning. Hold on, it's you. What's going on around here? Uh, um, I heard Paul Wan was killed. Is that true? It's a bad rewind if that's what it is. Another steel samurai, doing the most evil of deeds. Um, you know, that's not entirely. I'll have you know I was a huge fan of ones. Ones? 
Why or why do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one by like flies? It's always been the way ever since I was a little girl. Oh. Actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. No less, you forgot Final Pam was in this. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Hmm. Don't push me, boy. Um, Mr. Nick. I, uh, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. Miss Old Bag, could you please speak a little slur? Don't boss me around, you sp spiky haired smarty pants. <laughs> My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful manner. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes my heart go put up again. She has all the ducky duckies for stars who die soon. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um, I'd watch your words. No one's going to say, get away with saying anything bad about my one. I guess you could say he's her. One and only. But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word of I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl of the Afro and the horrible country accent. I mean, what is that manner of speaking supposed to be? And why does she never stop? Pearls, are you thirsty? Um, uh, Melissa? Okay, I'll go and get you some juice or something. But thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention? Youngins, these youngins today. So I'm guessing Miss Oldbag heard everything from Lossa. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Ah, huh? I don't know anything about that. I was get here getting ready. Getting ready for what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. I see. But? But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. The, the most important moment, you don't mean. Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child. When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? She saw lots of beans, 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 lots of beans. The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder isn't? Please don't stray onto another tangent. What you never heard seen magical treasure the magical Trevor Kiara? If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. Yep. See, Goggles gets it. Magical tre- Everyone loves Magical Trevor because the tricks that he does are ever so clever. If 
you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring a la this lady a present. <laughs> I'm glad someone remembers it. I remember the uh, same guy who did it ended up doing a, uh, making an advert for 118. 118, 24-7 is directory heaven. Okay, so I need to find her a present. I don't know, maybe I think if I could get him to sign this. March the 21st, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, got to roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. Okay, I can't turn and see this lobster now. I'm moving elsewhere. March the 21st, Gatewater Hotel Hallway. Hey, you're here. Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lawyer? Hey, Mr. Copfeller. The thief showed his face. What? 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 Arrest him. Put him on trial. Found him guilty. Give him the death penalty. No less. It's that Weeble and Bob thing. I guess. W what's wrong, Lotta? Are you feeling all right? Looked here, there, and up down the mountain, but it ain't here. So why don't you hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Um, what are you looking for? My camera. C A M A E R A. Camera. It's my life's blood, and I'm gonna die without my $700 camera. Y your camera? Once again, I'm very sorry for anyone with an actual Southern American accent, because I cannot do accents. Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always, always goes back to the scene of the crime? And looky looky, here you are. Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. Huh? So you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy in a store and it's $1,600 brand new. Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I made this itty bitty scratch on it and the manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me his talking to and he was real mewing about it too. He done made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must be when I was real busy looking, running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear, darling, expensive sweetie. Yeah, you know, that's actually what I call my... No, I'm not going to say that on camera. Lotta, what did you say? What did you capture of that expensive camera of yours? So you could say it was a... Five hour discount. <laughs> Good one, Nolus. I don't really know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. So I don't remember. And besides, I couldn't get anything from a big scoop. I wonder if Lotta's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Lotta's camera added to the court records. Lotta's camera, a very expensive item valued at $1,600. It was stolen at the time of the murder. Okay, that camera looks kinda... Nope, not even going to go there. Lotta, please tell me what you know about the what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Un guard was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure you went to school, city boy? Wherever a lot of heart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop. I told you before, I'm going to be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. 
Bread and course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shop. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were right here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Yes, no, it does look kinda. Lotta, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take the picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story that it, it was that you'd hang around here? And more locks. Oops, sorry Mr. Lawyer, can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Well, you know what my trade secret is? Keeping my throat lubricated. Thanks for the posture check, Jan. And hydrate. <sighs> Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? Uh -huh. Yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss, L Miss Lotter and your eye all smile. Okay, so we need to find proof of what her big scoop is. Okay, so, Angard Hotel Room or Caritas? March 21st, Gatewater Hotel, on Guards Hotel Room. Um, where are we? We're in Matt and Guards dressing room, and this is our client's room. May I help you with something? Oh, may I help you with something? Um, uh, where? You're Matt on guard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also look for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how do you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Nolas. Yeah, I forgot how much Adrian Andrews looks like Sam has actually. Wow. It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ungar's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, one stop in your mad dash, to find clues to build his case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I'm Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Alright. She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Y yes, that's correct. Then I'll tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ungard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What'd you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. When the awards show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? 
No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Well, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to court with Mr. Ungard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Greeder. Well, Phoenix is officially a trash neurotypical, he said the line. Which one? And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really had strung through everything? Oh, must be. F yeah. I know exactly what you mean now. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally as tough as nails. Um, so about you and... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask Mr. how Mr. On Gars and I are related, are you? Z sorry. I have no idea how he could cho have chose you as his lawyer. Why'd she go have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ungar's manager. His manager. Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Corrida, have one? No, he did not. He didn't. Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios, in that... Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor, poor, the poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this? Honestly. You're wrong. I, I'm doing this to help Mystic Mayor. Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, all right? Yeah, he wasn't that high tier anyway, even discounting in last case. I mean, to be honest, um, some of the stuff he's said to me is pretty, uh, ugh. <laughs> Seriously can't get over how much she looks like Samus, though. I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that have no relevance to me. Wow, this is the first time I've been shut down this badly. Are you sure about that, Phoenix? the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. Ungar said he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was a request from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. like the dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. What's the shadow with a spiral on it she's playing with? Is it a business card or something? Uh, good question. I'm sure they're Mr. Ungard and Miss Andrews' plates. Looks like they had T-bone steaks. What's with Global Studios and T-bone steaks? Uh, she appears to be holding a um, notebook of some kind.
Lots of swords and pole arms around here. There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket looking thing is called a happy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. They would be absolutely thrilled. It's probably Mr. On Guard's suitcase. For someone who is only going to be here for the awards show, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes here. The stars really are different from us, aren't they? That's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? Wow, they have really big beds here. There's a giant bone sitting on the plate. I I don't really like meat. There's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger on what that is. Where's the knife? Yeah, hotel beds can, can be quite big, I guess. Tss. Yes, no, that's a clue with big blue paw prints and that on and this and everything. Okay, let's check out the victim's bedroom. That's a lot of bears. March the 21st, Gatewater Hotel, Corridor's Hotel Room. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. One Corrida's room, pearls. Mr. Corrida? The victim. Which makes this the crime scene, too. Oh, it's you. So, what happened? The kidnapper. Has he contacted you to see you again? Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. On Guard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, pal? Hang in there. I just want Mayor to be alright. We don't have a lot of time left, but I'm going to help you as much as I can, pal. Can you do that? Even if you want to look around the crime scene? Yes, this once. Special circumstances, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know, but you got to keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. No less... A few years back, they made a mechanic in Magic the Gathering called Investigate that makes clues tokens. The memes are great. Okay, that sounds quite amazing. Here you go, little missy. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map. That's great, Pearls. Um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Hotel guide map added to the court records. Map of the Gatewater Hotel around the crime scene. What do you know about this? Um, there's nothing special I can tell you about this, pal. Look, pal. We don't have a lot of time. Why don't you show me something more important? If Miss Von Karma saw me here like this, I'd have to switch, have to switch sides real fast. That's your present from the kidnapper, huh? What are you talking? It sends to receive through radio waves. If we could trace that. Yeah, we could use it to find out where the bad guy is. It uses radio waves, huh? I got it. I'll go find a radio scanner and let you borrow it, pal.
no less. And I could stick on Kyoko, Kyoko on them. Wow, there are a lot of bears. Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddies, plastic models. It's pretty overwhelming. Is there a kind of bear he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. Yeah, I get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. Poor teddies. It's hard to bear with all these problems. Meow. Why did they have to flash back to the clown? Why did they have to flash back to the bloody clown? Ugh. That's a good question, Nolas. Why is he gone? I was happy. I was happy. I don't think I want to bear with the trauma he that last case caused me. <sighs> you and me both, Mr. Wright. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Well, Kiko was a supporting character from Inuisha. Oh, that's the one you meant. There are all sorts of things, things in this refrigerator. The carrot juice bottle and the smarty juice bottle are both empty. Empty? It is too much for us to throw them away, I guess. They're all vegetable juices. I guess he must have been a real health nut. Ah, there's beet, some ketchup and a bottle of strawberry jam too. Maybe red was his favorite color. It's so messy in here. Pearl really likes things neat and tidy, I take it. There are a lot of electronic things in here that I've never seen before. Tss. Good question, why is the place orange? Hey Mr. Nick, tell me what they are pretty please. Okay, that over there is a watch, you wear it on your wrist. I know some watches. Oops, for a second there, I forgot I was talking with Pearls, not Mayor. <laughs> it's a suitcase. There are so many things in it, I bet it barely closes. There's his clothes, a dryer, an electric shaver, a calculator. Do all stars pack too much, cuff too much stuff like Mr. Corrida? Do you know what the cause? What was the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy, autopsy report isn't out yet, but one look at the victim should tell you, pal. It should. Yeah, here's a picture. Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. No, less. Is that a rumba? I don't know. There's a knife in his chest. Wait, is that the steak knife from the other room? Yeah, pal, that's the murder weapon. Sarah's stabbed to death. They're looking at the, finger at the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife. Kiara doesn't want to look after the at the photograph. Nolas, Samus did it. Nolas, Samus is responsible for wiping out entire species and blowing up planet. She did not commit a, a mur simple murder. Yep. And it looks like they're pretty sure they're Mr. Ongar's prince, pal. 
That's bad. Real bad. Crime photo added to the court record. Why is Mr. Edge, um, Mr. On Guard arrested? Because we had evidence on him. How big a bounty do you reckon TV stars get on them? Depends on the TV star, I guess. Evidence? It looks like the victim won Corita. Really put up a big fight. Yeah. Yeah. One look at the crime scene, you can tell. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah. During the fight, his button came off. Mr. On Guard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jammin' Ninja's buttons got caught in his hack hammer. But that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. A witness? Uh, who is it? That lady, Miss Oldbag. Please, anyone but her. The prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something around here, where the something around where the Vic was that's a little off. Something that's a little off, as in, as in, that's for you to figure out, pal. All right, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. And slide. Yeah, it looks like Mr. Karida had dinner last night. This bottle, it's tomato juice. We had a lot of food at the award show last night, but I wonder if the stars had gone on stage only after, after only eating a meager meal like this. That looks more like an apple than a tomato. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Corrida fought his assailant. What are these bits of glass from? A uh, flower vase, maybe. There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know what they are. You don't know much about flowers, do you, Mr. Nick? It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. You, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. There's a bottle on the uh, a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. But doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. She's right. The flower vase was broken in, and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still all right? Wine glass, found next to the victim. It's filled with tomato juice. No sign has been drank. So that's a bed, right? No less. Tomato juice is D tier, to be honest. Too pulpy. Yeah, I'm not really that big on vegetable juices. And yes, I know tomatoes are a fruit, but it's a culinary vegetable. So there. Mm. So that's a bed, right? Yep, it's big, but it's a bed. Uh, Mr. Nick, it's so soft. Big best beds must be a rarity for her. Thing I don't like about hotel beds is they do that weird, they always have those weird blanket things instead of a proper duvet. This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is not in here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show. But Mystic Mare, she said the bright red guitar was the German Ninja's sin signature item. That's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on the top of the lid. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? 
guitar case added to the court records. Found next to the victim. Empty. There is some water, but only on the top of the lid. You don't even know what a duvet is, but hotel beds are unusually com are usually comfortable. You know, a duvet. Like a blanket stuffed with feathers. Okay, I guess it doesn't let us uh, just work it out. Get you away from feathers, to be honest. Needles in a sack. like couch cushions with them in. Fair enough. March the 21st, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Uh, Mr. Powers, have you been here the entire time? Yeah, people connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. Can you tell me a little more about the Nichols Sam Samurai TV show? Okay. There's that theme music. The Nickel Samurai is an action hero program aimed towards kids. It is the sequel to the Steel Samurai. I see. And this time, there are three Samurai brothers. Aluminium Samurai, Tin Samurai, and of course, the Nickel Samurai. Here's the love Y in a near old Tokyo. I see. W wait. A love what? I love why. This girl, say, who worked at a tea shop and all three guys fought for her at the same time. Oh, I guess the Y shape is like the three brothers colliding over this one girl. Anyway, say, who is actually the daughter of the evil Sam Strawberry Clan's leader. Sounds like an unusual situation. Like Romeo and Juliet times three. Y yeah. Strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big for the office ladies. Um, yes, Pearl? What, what happens next? I want to know. Miss Sayo. Does Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Every Sunday at 8am. I'm going to start watching Kids Masterpiece Theatre starting this week. I can't believe she's really considering it. In addition to being set by, set in a world where it can't make its mind if it's California or Tokyo, it's also set in a world without VCRs. So what's the Jam and Ninja TV show like? It started from a remake of an old movie to tell you the truth. Jam and Ninja, like the Samurai shows, is geared towards kids.
It's an in-kid masterpiece theatre the show the big guy was supposed to be in. Yeah, I think he plays a castle or something. It's the story of a ninja who can't scale a wall but became a big pop star anyway. Um, what? He was a really lousy ninja. Absolutely couldn't do any ninja things right at all. But boy, could he sing. With his trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. Uh, a ninja with a bright red guitar. And then a final fight in the front of his beloved Princess Misola. Jamin versus the Mur Muramachi 5. Suddenly, our brave hero catches the not so jamming cold the night before the battle free. Um, that's too bad for him. Y yeah. But this kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. Um. Yes, Pearl? Well, what happens next? I want to know. Jamming, the jamming ninja. Will he be able to sing? What about Princess Masula? Missola. Every Sunday at 8 a.m. Um, which show should I watch? Hmm. I can't believe she's really considering it. <laughs> yep, Nolas. Acoustic guitar means pop star. Checks out. The idea of deciding what you wanted to watch as a kid. SMTV Live or Live and Kicking? It wasn't not. It wasn't really a choice. SMTV Live had Pokemon. if I can get him to autograph something. Guess not. Personally, didn't have public TV till like 15. In general, though, you think you prefer Cartoon Network over Nickelodeon, not counting Avatar. Well, I was talking about terrestrial TV. of some sort. Our Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon not present in the UK. Um, they are if you've got, well they were on, they did have cable channels and their shows were generally licensed to other channels. Basically, for most of the 90s up until uh, the early 2000s when free you became a thing, most people only had four or five channels. And cable's always been sort of something you only have if you're particularly wealthy. Okay, 
here. Let's see if we can break these locks. Big scoop. Lotta, will you please answer my questions? On the night of the murder, why are you loitering around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I? For my scoop. What I want to know is the details of this scoop. But that's not something I can tell you. I mean, there's my bread and butter. Alright then, an unpleasant fat tabloid photographer looking for a scoop. I'm going to say that you're looking into a scandal. Ugh. Could it be that you lost a heart were looking for a break with a huge story? Perhaps an unfolding scandal between one Corita and this person? Who the heck is that? Um, you think us journalists are all a bunch of idiots? You can't fool me. I'm a pro. Uh, oh, really? So, who's this person anyway? If you're such a pro, why don't you do your own research and figure it out? Nope, I showed the uh, arrested guy. This woman. She's Adrian Andrews, Matt on Gar's manager. Mm. The Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the German Ninja. It'd be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? You're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. You can't just make up any old thing and think it'll make the papers. You have backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah. Go have that. That, what's it? New source. Um, you mean news source? That's it. So sh show me something that shows that Joanne ha what, one had something to do with Miss Andrews. Okay, I can't prove that yet. Vincent Miss Corita. Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place after all. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial of things. If either one of them wasn't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. I've got a hunch this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why one Corita was killed. Do you have any ideas? As to? As to why Mr. Corita was murdered? Why do you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job, so do you have any ideas? Miss Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a Sarlock, Mr. Nick? Yes, there's getting to be more and more of these lately. Wow, 
let's see what uh, the sign looks like. Why was you? Why was one creator murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm. Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. Ungar's life in danger by your actions? Why do you ask questions in which I have no answers? The truth is, I was not that close to Mr. Creda. You are not that close? That's right. I've never been good at being intimate with another person. You are not good at being intimate with another person? Somehow I hardly doubt that. Okay, so there must be some evidence she was having an affair with Father Creda then. It's probably going to be in Creator's hotel room. Oh, hey, Joe, how's it going? If she did, she'd have plenty of incentive to play What's His Face under the bus. Good point. What can you tell me about this guitar case? Oh, that. This is just what I heard, pal, but there's, that's a Jammin' Ninja's signature item. The guitar case? <sighs> no, not that. What'd you take me as? I mean, the guitar inside, of course. But the guitar is missing. Yeah, we look for it too. It's not normal for a person to protect, forget to bring their most famous item into an awards show. How are you doing this evening, Joe? It starts to sound like the red guitar is related to this case after all. So about this wine glass? Ah, uh, so you noticed it, pal. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? No, actually, Miss Von Karma noticed it first. Yeah, Pearl's noticed it for me too. Hey, wait a minute. So does that mean Miss Von Karma's here at the hotel? Yeah, she's around. Man, you're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. Yeah, especially if she catches you in here. Oh, tired and eating chocolate, Joe. Now that's a mood. I mean, the tired part, I don't have any chocolates to hand right now. Well, you can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running the thousand meter dash. Yep, Kiara, same, same. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. What, what's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Mm, I've heard this sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. Come to think of it, that's exactly what happened the last time. So sorry, I've got to make myself scarce. Later, pal. Yo! <gasps> At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Would it be too much to ask you to be nice to me for a change? That coffee uh, maker in the background is doing some optical illusion BS. You're not wrong. So, you're the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives. That's very dishonorable of you. Ow! Hey, don't you dare run away. Struffy McTrench coat. Uh. I didn't think the detectives of this country could be this pitiful. While well, she's branching out from ball. Detective, come over here for a second. Uh. Honey, I did not consent to this scene. Keep it in the bedroom. 
Hmm. I feel better, knowing at least that you are man enough to face your punishment. He was so sca scared he just froze up on the spot. <laughs> hey, Kara. Yep, what's a thing to come into the stream for? And yes, Joe. Ouch. Mr. Phoenix Wright. You. You have soiled my perfect prosecution record. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine. Victory is yours. Is all that is that all this means to you? But what? <laughs> Come, Scruffy. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Y yes, sir. Wait, y yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honour. Ow. What'd she throw at me right now? What is this? Well, I guess this means I gotta get back to the pre precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to crim the criminal affairs department, alright? And if you can, try not to let Miss Ponkarma see you. Was I supposed to have just picked up an item, or...? Oh. Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It is called an autograph. Autograph? The paper's got Mr. Creator's name written on it, so it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Ah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. As a lawyer, I've never seen cursive. This makes perfect sense. Joe, will the teddy bears kill you if you ignore them? Good question. I think they might be uh, donating large amounts of money to a conservative organisation. Look here. See how it says? To my dearest Wendy in more normal letters here. This sloppy unreadable writing? It is crazy and cruel to give this to someone. Hold on. Wendy. I've heard that name before. Mr. Creed's autograph added to the court record. One creator's autograph, to my dearest Wendy, is written on it. Okay, looks like we have to speak to Old Bag. R.I.P. my vocal cords. Oh, thanks for giving Kiara a shout out. Oh, not Kiara. Thanks for giving Kara a shout out, Kiara. Present. What you witnessed. All right, I'll be honest with you now. Then please tell us what you saw. Oh, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun with you at your youngin's expense. I am a little devil after all. Um, doesn't that imply you aren't a good person? Hey, I know plenty of devils that are good people. Alright. Alright, I'll give you what you want. 
Okay, one bribe. That's... that's one's autograph. Yes, it is. And it even says to my dearest Wendy on it. That, that's me, right? Right? Um... My name is Wendy Oldbag, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Well, it may say Wendy. But somehow I don't think one had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Oh, please, give it to me. Let me have it, please. Oh, uh, well, I can't let you have it just like that. Yes, yes, I know. How about an exchange? Wow, she must really want this autograph. My offer isn't good enough for you? Fine, Mr. Wright, you win. Wendy Oldbag, ready to open up her heart, all for my dearest one. Well then. Autograph given to Wendy Dearest. I feel bad for you now. Huh? I tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of one's room. You're kidding. Oh no. It was about ten minutes before one's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And, did you tell that to the police? Well, of course. I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it, maybe more. Gift certificate? I've been recruited again for that part of the trial. You know the trial tomorrow. This time, you're going to get it. I'm going to work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. But Mr. Ngard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about the details like that. I know he did my poor one in. I just do. That yellow-bellied chicken. A yellow-bellied chicken? I wonder what that would look like. I trust my senses. I know when someone did something bad and he, I say he did it. What did Mr. Ungard ever do to her to deserve this? What did Mr. Ungard do to you to make you so... You don't know? That guy, he framed my Juan. He created that scandal and that plagued poor Juan. Mr. Nick? What is it? What's a scandal? Oh, um, I'll tell you about that after we get home, okay? Poor Juan, let us trade by that wiles that vile temptress. Mr. Nick, what do vials and wild temptress mean? Ugh. Um, how about we just listen to what Miss Oldbag has to say for now, okay, Pearls? So, Miss Oldbag, who is this woman you, you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? I can't believe Sam Saran would do this. That guy, he shoved the girl onto Juan on purpose. His own manager, but why? I thought Lois was smart. Create a scandal to make one lose face. That girl drove one into a scandal that dragged his reputation through the mud. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. Why do you know about that anyway, Mr. Oldbag? I'm one of one's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. And you have proof that Mr. On Guard did what you say he did? Next week's issue of a certain magazine says so. Ugh, of course, a tabloid. Next week? Doesn't that mean it's something people don't know about yet? Why didn't Miss Oldbag have information like that and where'd she get it? <laughs> yep, let's talk about murder in front of this nine year old instead. Much more appropriate. Okay, does he know anything about it? No. 
Kiara, talk about murder. Where's the invisible girl? She's an expert. She just stabbed you. Did you die? You think you're dead. That's my manager. Did you meet her? Uh, yeah. What do you think? Strong woman, right? And she takes good care of me. You're such a mama's boy. Okay, my voice is uh, pretty much DOA, so... I'll call it here. So, thank you everyone for dropping by. Sorry about the um, issues we had with the bots. Yes, it's a picture of Brioche, Joe. Wait, that's me. Why am I talking in the third person? I look terrible today. I look like Adrian Andrews. Adrian Andrews looks like me. Anyways, uh, thanks everyone for dropping by. I'll be playing more I Can Fail, no. I can fail this Monday. <sighs> next uh, and Wednesday. Next Friday should be the uh, usual Phoenix Wright stream. I don't. I'm not sure what's happening tabletop wise. Kiara, and after this voiceover video essay for you. Maybe one day. We both look like Samus, Joe. Oh, thanks. So, yep, sorry, this was uh, just a short stream. I was basically uh, doing, it, doing extra time at work and uh, I didn't really get a chance to get much sleep because I had a programming course at four o'clock pretty much straight after up oh, glad you enjoyed it Jan and Nolus and Kiara I believe Nick is uh, playing some microscope so um, we'll give him a raid Twitch decides to load. Yep, I'm glad you caught some of it too, Joe. I hope you and Amanda are having a lovely weekend. Okay, Nick is live, so we'll give him a raise. terrible today. Anyways, I'll be back on Monday, hopefully after having a bit more sleep. Have a lovely weekend. Hope to see you on Monday for more Rick and Fell. And we're raiding in three, two, one, and I can rest my voice.
want to ban. I would like to ban. Avery. Also, if you're um, Hello. watching on Welcome. YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, send, send sleep. Oh, oh God.